first things first, here is the elbow, okay? If you think about the elbow, the elbow kind of looks like a cone. It's cone-shaped, okay? So the easy way to remember the muscle that's right next to it is it's called the anconius. Think of the cone of the elbow. So this muscle right here is called the what? Anconius. anconius. Good. Next, uh, we're looking at the muscles of the antibrachium, okay? Now again, you're always looking for lateral and you're always looking for anterior and posterior. So this is the anterior surface, this is going to be lateral, okay? Now if you look at these muscles, one, two, three, and four, they all come off of near or off of directly the medial epicondyle, okay? So it's on the medial side. And the easy way to remember the four muscles that are on the anterior side are PF, PF. PF, PF. P stands for pronator teres. F flexor carpi radialis, P palmaris longus, and F flexor carpi ulnaris. Now I know it seems daunting, but remember PFPF, and I'll show you how to remember um, the other ones. So this right here is going to be P pronator teres. If you think about the muscle, the muscle is going to be like this. So if it pulls on the arm, it causes pronation, okay? So that's pronator teres. So it has to start from the medial side and lead to the lateral side in order to pull it over, okay? Next. So that's PF, F flexor. Now isn't this motion flexion? So the muscles that are on this side are going to be flexors, okay? So if this is the muscle and it contracts, watch what happens when it contracts. It causes flexion, right? The muscles on the opposite side are gonna be what? Extension, okay? So the muscles on this side cause what? Extension, the muscles on this side cause what? Flexion. flexion. Okay, so flexion. So this muscle right here is called flexor because it causes what? Flexion. flexion. Carpi, if you follow the tendon, it goes down to the wrist bones. What are the wrist bones known as? Carpals. Carpals, good. And next is that, are we on the radial side or ulnar side? Radial because it's the thumb side, right? So flexor carpi radialis. PFP, take the muscle, follow it down to this part of the hand. What is this part of the hand called? The palm. So therefore, this muscle right here is called palmaris longus. Does that make sense? So just follow the tendons. So PF, PF. F is flexor, because it causes what? Flexion. Carpi, because the tendon goes down to around the where? Carpals, and are we on the ulnar side? Yes. Ulnar, we're on the ulnar side, yes. So this is the flexor carpi ulnaris, okay? So again, PF, PF. Does everybody understand that? Now on the exam, there's a good chance that the model is gonna be set up like this. And if you think about it, the person that's going to be there before you is going to be moving the model around like this. Now that, with these models, usually if it's in the stand, you're allowed to move them. So if you move the model like this and the person comes up behind you, okay, and then they're the next person, they're going to have a different perspective than how you saw it, okay? So you're going to have to work with it yourself. So my strong suggestion is the first thing I would do when you get to any muscles that are in this area is identify where PFPF PF, PF is, PFPF. PF. Does everybody understand that? Okay. It helps you keep organized. And that's the tough part about this is that they start to look the same. You want to keep yourself organized. So that's the first thing you do. Okay. So next, we get to this muscle on the lateral side. Remember PFPF is coming off of the medial side. This one is going to be on the lateral side. It starts in the brachium, which is the upper arm, and is on the radial side. So what do we call it? Brachioradialis. Not so bad, right? Brachioradialis. Starts in the brachium, it's on the radial side. Next, if we look and we now go to this side. The other, this side was called the what? Flexor side, and the other side is called the what? Extensor. Okay, so this is the extensor side. If we look at this muscle right here, this is extensor, carpi, radialis, and this is also extensor, carpi, radialis. But if you look, this muscle is longer than this one. So this is extensor carpi radialis longus, and this is extensor carpi radialis brevis. Does everybody understand that? So again, brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay? Next, if we take this muscle and follow its tendons, its tendons go down to the fingers. The other word for fingers is digits. Okay? So this is called extensor digitorum. So everybody get that? Extensor digitorum. And you can kind of see the tendons right there on me. Everybody see that? If you move it for yourself, you can see them. Okay? So that's extensor digitorum. Next, there's a small muscle that's right in here. It goes down to the little finger. Okay? It goes down to the little digit. 
and again, this muscle is right here. Does everybody see that? And you take the muscle, you follow the tendon. That's why I would follow the tendons on all the questions that I ask you. Even if the sticker's here, still follow the tendon. So here's the muscle, follow the tendon, and it goes down to the little guy. Now, what's the name of Dr. Evil's little sidekick? Mini me, good. So the motion on this side is gonna be extensor, okay? Everybody agrees with that, extensor. And then it goes to the little finger, the little digit, so it's called digity minimi. What motion does it cause? It causes that. Does everybody get that? Okay, so it's extensor digity minimi. If you don't know who Austin Powers is, Google it. Okay, so this is extensor digity minimi. Does everybody understand that? Next, we get to this muscle right here. Is this an extensor or flexor? Extensor, good. Is it probably gonna go to the carpals? Yes. Is it on the ulnar side or radial side? Ulnar side, so we call it extensor carpi ulnaris. Does everybody understand that? Now, this is the issue when you do this. Okay. What muscle is this? Yeah. What is it? Flexor carpi ulnaris. Good, you guys got it. Very good. Flexor carpi ulnaris because of PFPF. But oftentimes, to be honest with you, the vast majority of the time that I do this, okay, the vast majority of the time, you know what people pick? Extensor, okay? Because it looks like it's on the extensor side. That's why doing PFPF is so important, okay? The last two I wanna do are this muscle right here. If I take part off of part of PFPF off, this one right here is called flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum superficialis. You see it here and between here. These are tendons from flexor carpi radialis and pulmaris longus. So this is flexor digitorum superficialis. And if I take this off, it's flexor digitorum profundus. So flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus. Does everybody get that? Okay, so go back to.